That I make, yeah? That is the essence of my life. For free that them fun, them be in it all night, yeah? That is the essence of my life. I'm afraid that I take and every step that I make, yeah? That is the essence of my life. For free that them fun, them be in it all night. And if you have your feet in the resurrection, you can have your part in the redemption. And if you have your hope in the redemption, you can work on for salvation Just clean up your heavens with your meditation Put love in your thought and in your action With some amount of courage and a little decision And never put your hand to no destruction Yeah, that is the essence of my life Every breath that I take and every step that I make Yeah, that is the essence of my life But afraid of them one, them be in it all night Yeah, that is the essence of my life that I make, yeah, that is the essence of my life, but afraid of them gone, them be the dark night, while the sun are rule the heavens by day, and the moon are rule the stars by night, make sure your love light keep shining bright, whether you rich or you poor, you black or you white, pull and tie your key, and pull it up tight, even though the wicked, they might give we a fight, the truth and the right, says the strength of we might, and if I make no that is the essence of my life. I'm afraid that I take and every step that I make, yeah. That is the essence of my life. But afraid that they move on, they be in it all night, yeah. That is the essence of my life. I'm afraid that I take and every step that I make, yeah. That is the essence of my life. But afraid that they move on, they be in it all night. So we chant a little prayer in the morning. Say another prayer at night. That I make, yeah? That is the essence of my life. But afraid of them gone, them be in it all night, yeah? That is the essence of my life. I'm right that I take and every step that I make, yeah? That is the essence of my life. But afraid of them gone, them be in it all night. And if you have your faith in the resurrection, you can have your part in that the redemption. Yeah. 
to spiritual vibration with Sister P. Good morning to you and welcome to Styles FM Radio 96.1 and 96.7 coming to you from Port Antonio, Portland, Jamaica. This is the Spiritual Vibrations Program. My name is Sister P, Engineer is Cassidy, and we will be with you until 1 o'clock. Yes, Medea, give thanks, we travel out and return safe, and also give thanks for life. As usual, not just my life, but your life because we feed off each other. Hope you had a blessed week. A special welcome to those of you on the internet, www.stylesfm.com. Special welcome to all first-time listeners, all visitors to our island, and of course, those visiting our beautiful parish. To participate in the program, you may text or call 453-1444. Outside of Jamaica, the area code is 876. That would be 876-453-1444. For those of you in the USA and in Canada, we have a special line for you. Area code 954-338-7973. Styles on the go in the US. Area code 213-992-4360. In the UK, 33 Zero zero one zero three three two two. Social media, YouTube, Styles FM Radio, Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM, Twitter at Styles FM 961, and Facebook, Styles FM 96.1 fan page. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Someone can ask you for a favor And then they try to take over And if you never grant a favor That's why they will try to take over of inspiration for today look a bit different from what we normally do white people like violins black people like drums white people play bridge black people play blackjack white people eat caviar black people eat pig's feet white people play squash black people play football People do not do what they do because of the color of their skin. They do what is familiar to them, accessible to them, and what vibrates in their soul. It's about our ancestors. It's about ancestry. It's about tradition. It's about what feels good and what doesn't. And it's all, it's okay. Once we begin to understand that we are no much more than color, that we are so much more than color, we can begin to accept our individual differences. We can eat what we want, play what we want, go where we want, do what we want, because we choose to. No one thing is better than the other because of who does it. What makes an activity attractive and available is how it is supported by the people who do it. Do what you do because you like to do it not because your color or your class 
keeps you from doing something else. Special good morning to you, Miss Brown. Give thanks. And also to you, Valerie. Give thanks. And I, whenever I think, whenever I play Lucky Dubé, I could play this music here over and over. I could play this every week, the way me love it. But anyway, I'd just like to say a uh, blessed good morning to Boomba and to Blacks also. Yes, and a blessed good morning to Denise and Anna Kay from Cornwall Barracks. And, you know, just before I left, I met them in the bank and they came over and said, Sister P, we're Denise and Anna Kay. And it is always so nice when you meet listeners. You are my mom who taught me that you are always there. Yes, I will always say Jaliv, Jaliv, because I'm here, so I have to give thanks. And it's what you believe in. That is what I believe in. I believe that Jalivs. <laughs> Yes, 
Yeah, that's what takes me through life. Something else might take you through life, but I have to give thanks for what takes me through life. It's all about the peace, feeling peace inside, not getting stressed. Talking about stress, this was one of my least stressful travels. And I have to big up Caribbean Airways. You my mom who taught me that you are always there. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the U.S. Hope you have yourselves a wonderful day. Don't eat too much. And I wonder what the vegetarians are going to eat because um, and we know that it's all about turkey day. To spiritual vibration with Sister P. Cliffhanger Restaurants and Lounge presents Off the Cliff starting Friday, November 28th at 11 p.m. with live performance by Raging Fire. Admission, ladies, 500 gents a grand with complimentary finger food and rum punch. Available entries, curry goats, country fried chicken, and fish. For more info, call 860-1395 or 869-5931. Off the Cliff, every last Friday at Cliffhanger Restaurants. Lighting my world with Victoria Sharp Miller. This and every Sunday morning at 6 a.m. It is a program to enlighten the understanding of Christians and non-Christians and bring people to a clearer knowledge of God. Portlanders, Portlanders, Akan Auto Technology, located at 33 Bomber Crescent, Port Antonio. Visit us for all your auto repair and servicing. We offer computerized wheel alignment, computerized wheel balancing, suspension checks, AC repair, inspection, and all your auto repair needs. For a complete auto repair and service, visit or call Akan Auto Technology today at 715 5205. And remember, we are located at 33 Boundbrook Crescent. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration, Styles FM 96.1, with Sister P. It's tiley, it's fiery. Jennifer Barrett said that.
Yeah, I might as well start getting into it. Well, the Jamaican dollar it needs one hundred and thirteen dollars and forty nine cents in order to go over the cents business to purchase one US dollar. How did we get here? How did we get here? What is it? Fifty two years of independence? And it just seems to get considerably worse. One hundred and thirteen dollars and forty nine cents to purchase one US dollar. No, let me tell you something. All of a sudden, you start to see Black Friday sale in a Jamaica. Is what happened to it? Everything America do, we have to follow with it. We have Black Friday sale now. What Black Friday sale have to do with Jamaica? People advertise Black Friday sale. I mean, everything. We took Carnival, the Jamaica Carnival, totally taken out of context. Because Carnival has a history to it. We just, we just, it's just another party. No, we're taking Black Friday business and throwing it into Jamaican culture. Not to mention, yesterday Uptown Prep School, them, they have Halloween. Children have Halloween. Yeah. Them town schools and them, I don't know about, not, I don't want to say about Montego Bay, but anywhere you find them, like an Uptown people gathering. They want to be so American that I don't know why they do not move there. I don't know. Might be the weather. But Florida have the same weather. So what it is? It's because when them is here, them can go on at them as smutty. And if them left and go somewhere else, them is nobody. I wonder if that is why. Because everything American them want it. Okay. I noticed while I was gone and I, that reading through the paper that the College of Agriculture, Science and Education did not have their graduation, had to be cancelled because very few students, I guess, were able to either buy what is necessary to participate in the graduation. So they probably feel like how I would have felt. My pass, that is all I need. I don't need to go put on all of this fancy something where I go cast, 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 and ring and this and what's it now. I have spoken repeatedly on this program about this graduation thing and the cost of graduation. A child leaving basic school, and for those of you overseas, that would be kindergarten. It's a whole big thing. Why people cannot? When I went to school, you graduate in your uniform. What is wrong with that? I don't see what is wrong with graduating in your uniform. Thousands and thousands of dollars people have to spend. I hope these students sent a clear message to the college. They could not afford it, I am sure. I don't know how many of you, well, I'm sure um, whoever has cable saw the Anthony Bourdain feature on Jamaica and specifically on Portland and parts of St. Mary, Araka Bessa. And did you see it, Cassidy? How you felt about it? You have it on there? You still have it? Because I wouldn't mind playing parts of it, you know. What you thought about it? Grab the mic and tell me what you think about it yesterday. Yeah. In the meantime, I would just let listeners know that um, it was really a good exposure of certain situations in Jamaica. Yes. It was broadcast internationally. Same things that we've been talking here. What them say? Story come to bump. Yes, yeah, story come to bump. And I have to really big up Cynthia at Winifred Beach because she never hold her tongue, as we would have said. She never hold her tongue. And later in the program this morning, um, later in the program, we're going to have Carla, 
who has been at the forefront of the fight for Winifred Beach. And, you know, um, there has been a court ruling re lately. And so Carla is going to bring us up to date. Because I was away, I didn't get a hold of everything. So she will bring me up to date on exactly what is happening. But it has been a small victory. It has been a 50-50, as Carla said to me this morning, for the people of Portland. Regardless of which people in Portland wants, to, wants it to go to UDC, wants it taken away from the public, the people's voice has been heard. Yes, Cassidy, what did you think of that Anthony Bourdain feature? What you didn't like? Mm -hmm. I, I was, as I was saying, it was a good feature, but there are some little things about it that I didn't like. What you never like? For example, the parts in St. Mary that mm -hmm. one of the fishermen was talking. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember if you know this guy. He's always in some of the... the Carl Jamaican Bradshaw. Movies. Yeah, man. Told him to shut up. He definitely didn't want the guy to talk. No. I don't know why. And guess what? I just read... <laughs> When I was in New York, you know, Stephanie Black that was here who did the film festival. Well, it was um, one of the women that was involved with the film festival here was a producer of the program. And um, Stephanie said he didn't realize that he still had on his mic. And that is why when he's telling the man to shut up, everything just became public. It was so good. I mean, and the way Anthony Bourdain described Jamaica, I mean... Look at the first part in Portland. It was like definitely two different Portlands. Did you see how the people up at the top live and how the balance of us? But guess what? I almost got caught up into that, you know, because if you notice, the junk on the group was there and the fireman. I actually booked <laughs> the junk on the group and was supposed to go with the junk on the group. And I, you know, I tell you, when you follow spirit, you cannot go wrong. Because spirit just say, don't go, Sister P. And if I was, if I had gone, I would have been a part of the Portland that has nothing to do with people like us, Cassidy. So I give thanks at whenever. But Anthony Bourdain actually said that there are two Jamaicas. The Jamaicans who Jamaicans who can live in can lay in the hammock on the beach, and as he said, how many of us can do that? Something else that he also brought out, and this is something that listeners must know. He said Jamaica is the only island where the beaches are not public. He said. In the other islands, no matter how big the hotel is, the beach still belongs to the people and the beach is public. Well, I have to say, I know that the authorities and the people involved in tourism were so happy. They were so happy that this was going to be done on Jamaica. I certainly wish I could have been like maybe a little fly or a mosquito in them ears to hear what them was saying when Anthony Bourdain exposed when he exposed this island for what it is. He also said, because something else that came out, which I did not know, is that Golden Eye and Chris Blackwell, they had planned to expand that whole Oracle Bay sort of thing and take away the beach from the fisherman them. I didn't know that, you know. So that's another something to take on. And... Anthony Bourdain basically said, so you're going to give up your livelihood that you have been doing all of your life to go and carry bags for tourists. I mean, man, he, it, it was so good. Because even a friend of mine said, oh, I didn't watch it because I thought they were just going to show the, just the same old Blue Lagoon and the marina and so forth. I said, no, you need to watch it. Jamaica was exposed. I'm going to see if we can run certain parts of it um, because it was on CNN cable. I know that a big bad word did come out in there. So we will see what we can. And if I can't even get it for this week, I'm going to try to get it so that set it up so that we can do it next week to let you really hear, for those of you who did not see it, 
how Jamaica was exposed. And as usual, when I go away, there are certain songs that I play, and I seem to play them every time. I just have to go in there and find them. But they just feel so appropriate for when I go away and I come back, because one day it was 19 degrees. I mean, I was just hoping that nobody from Jamaica see me. The amount, of, well, it's about four days I never even bother step outside. But that just wasn't my thing. And if you ever see the amount of clothes, you know, you, you know that when you see the madman, they're in a holy jacket and something. And I just said, them, you know, says I'm a man. Well, it's the same way me did look. So me just, when I did go out, I said, I hope nobody from Jamaica not see me. But they must say, Sister P, gone, you know. Good morning, Terrio, and give thanks for welcoming me home. And just once again to say happy Thanksgiving to you all in the United States. Pull up already, you know. My fiance is Maxine not living some in the St. Catherine, but she always has said pull up. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with Sister P.
in the airport in Kingston, there's a line that says nothing to declare. And all I could think of was, I had nothing to declare, and all I could think of was this song. I'm an African Jamaican, nothing to declare.
Yes, all I wanted was to just reach home. That's all I wanted. So I had nothing to declare. Good morning to you, Michelle. Michelle says, I love the motor, it's slappery. Yes, Michelle, more time I have to play them the kind of music they so.
presently, you are listening to the spiritual vibrations with your host, Sister B. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM to the world. World! Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. <laughs> Lumber, cement, steel, plyboard, plates, cups, shower curtain, sheet. Then this now go take me all day, man. Daddy, mommy says I must go a builder's depot. I need to find somewhere with ample parking space, gives discounts, does delivery, and has the most courteous staff. Hmm. Why, Daddy Defi? Yes, builder's depot, right at Industrial Estate, Long Wall in Brands Bay. I call them at 715 3128 or 284 3337. Because I'm here, tell him, because builder's depot over there. So check them out. Builders Depot. Once you need it, we have it. Yeah, it's the showdown every Saturday morning, 10.30 to 11 a.m. on Stars FM. Yes, it's smoother sailing. The showdown, two artists goes head to head. You tell us who's your favorite. Call us on 453-1444. The showdown, 10.30 to 11 a.m. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Africa, why? A sister P come again, yeah. She teaches us about everything spiritual. Africa and the world works. Sister P, teach them. Teach them, Sister P. Music from the Ivory Coast, West Africa. The artist's name is Monique Seka, S E K A.
Ivory Coast former colonial master was um, France. So as you can see, Monique Seca speaking or singing in French. Yes, the Ivory Coast French speaking.
move over to Gabon, a former French, re well, former French colony. The colonizers of Gabon were French, France, and the Gabon has an estimated population of 1.5 million people. It is has a lot of well first of all it has a low population abundant petroleum which is oil and those have helped to make Gabon one of the most prosperous prosperous countries in that particular area of Africa
the Democratic Republic of Congo, and this is Kanda Bongaman. You know something? When I was at the conference in Connecticut with these African ambassadors, I didn't realize that, you know, when we hear about the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, or DRC, as it is commonly called, that their economy is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Because the only thing that we ever hear about the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, is about war. So I had no idea that their economy is one of the strongest and fastest growing, not just in Africa, but in the world. with Sister P.
as we move over to South Africa. Good morning to, to you, Aya Bingi, and to Mama. And I really give thanks that you love the music, as I absolutely love it too.
You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration, Styles FM 96.1 with Sister P. It's tiley, it's fiery. Jennifer Barrett said that. Hey, my man! Here's the Escaliva that's presented. It's all about Castro's Pacers Association with Empress Minor. Present a team called Swift River Fish Fry, day and night event, yeah? Place to be a fresh land, old Eden, Swift River, Portland. I know that Saturday, November 29, 2014, saying, the music by Fresh Sound International, DJ Facebook, whole host of parties. I Escaliva will be there alongside Rich Spice, yeah? Snapchat, Turbulence, yeah, the man, Jack Yo, be center, too much artists. Big up yourself, Escaliva presenting, saying, all right, then, 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 yeah, what? Want to create an exquisite home or office space? Let Everything Electrical be your home improvement retailer of choice. At Everything Electrical, we offer a wide selection of building materials, tools, and modern accessories. Our competent staff will guide you in making your investment meaningful by providing buying guides, installation services, and site visits. Visit us at any of our convenient locations, West Street, Port Antonio, and Morant Bay, St. Thomas. Call us at 715-6412 or 734-0817. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio, we have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 So, bossy, what's the problem? Boy, I'm not on a problem, you know? <laughs> but you see, I'm telling you, if you up on Pan Styles 2014 calendar, you're making miss you. Make sure you no make the 2015 one miss you again, you know, bossy. You know, see how last year them hype up the sponsors them with interviews and non stop big ups in a December. Next year I come soon, you know. And me, SS Styles, I hope the thing. Call them, no man, because spots limited. 876 439 5160. 876-439-5160 or email info at stylesfm.com for more information. Do we know, Bossy? You know what? I am going to call them right now. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with Sister P.
to spiritual vibration with Sister P. Yes, Carla. Um. Oh. Okay, go ahead. I am talking. Okay, I am hearing you now. Okay, good, fantastic. Okay, finally. Yesterday we got yeah, it fixed, right? We did yeah. it. We were having a problem where we weren't hearing you. It was everything was so low. Anyway, Carla, welcome to the Spiritual Vibrations program and to Styles FM Radio. I know that you are no stranger because we have done this before. Seven years of Winifred Beach, seven years of the courthouse. Where are we now? House of people, because uh, on this, in October, the Port Antonio Courthouse has ruled that uh, Winifred Beach is a public beach. So they gave UDC 90 days to change the land title and come back to court with a, with a new land title. Because as you might remember, together with other people, um, UDC does not own the beach alone. It is a big property which is going from the sea up almost to the main road. So the rest of the property is going to be still for UDC, but Winifred Beach and all the road, the parochial road, the other road, the, even the little tracks which are leading on the beach will be in a different land title which will guarantee that nobody can privatize the beach. Uh, very, very good. And, you know, I had to, earlier on the program, I had to really big up Cynthia because she did such an excellent job with Anthony Bourdain. When he, I mean, like, it was like, wow. <laughs> you know, the whole world know. knows now what is happening in Jamaica. I know Cynthia has been really fighting. Um, uh, you say you want to thank her. I am impressed from her because she has been doing a lot of work with a lot of problems, a lot of struggles, and she never gave up one time. If everybody was like Cynthia, we would be somewhere else. I know, I know. I mean, like she has been, because it's been at least two or three years ago when she was on this program. And she still continued, I mean, against all odds. I know what times they all felt. And I mean, it's Carla, but let me talk about Cynthia. But I have to congratulate you also, because you have been, I mean, you have been a, a, a rock to, to stand by the Jamaican people. Well, I mean, you're living here this long now that anywhere else you live in the world, you have your citizenship. So you have to say that you're just an Italian Jamaican. But uh, yes. see, when you nobody can choose the place where he uh, will be born, but you can choose the place where you want to where, live. Yes. So yes. when I decided to live in Jamaica, well, I did it because I love it here. So mm -hmm. I do what I can. Uh, it is not very easy sometimes because the the situation and the struggle with the UDC has been sometimes quite rough. But that is also my beach, the beach for my grand grandchildren, you know. So I, I, lo I love, I love the beach, and I, the idea is something that we share with IRFM. Winifred Beach should be the pilot for all the public beaches in Jamaica, because if we fight for one, we should fight for the all of them. Yes. But, and what, one of the things that came out, I liked when Anthony Bourdain said that Jamaica is the only island where the beaches are not public. It's true, you know. Uh, somebody went to Bahamas some weeks ago, and they came back astonished because they say, even if there is a big hotel on the beach, you go to the front desk and you tell them, I am going to the beach. They cannot stop you. Obviously, you cannot use the restaurant or you cannot use the, the facilities of the hotel. 
but you have the right to access the beach for free. I know. I mean, as people tell me, it's the same thing in Barbados. And I know yeah. for a fact in Cuba that that is the way it is. The beaches are public. It's for the people of the, whatever nation it is. Yeah, but also in Jamaica, what is funny is that you call a public what is still a beach where you pay an entrance fee, and it is a beach where when decided at 5 o'clock they close the beach, you cannot go to the beach anymore. To me, a public beach is basically almost a free beach. Yes. Obviously, there is a concern about how you maintain the beach and support the beach. So if you put a little fee, which is a 50J or something like that, that's understandable because it keeps the beach going. Because yes. you have to pay for the water, you have to pay for the garbage and water. But a public beach should not a beach where you go and you pay six, seven, eight hundred J to to enter the beach with your family. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is absolutely that is in other words, that is not a public beach. That is no, a it's beach. Not. No, that that could not be considered a public beach. But I mean, I it has been a long fight. So, Carla, do you consider this a major victory? Well, uh, P, thank you for the victory, but I don't want to sing too loud. Because we got a public beach, and that is a beautiful news. Yes. But then what's going to happen next? Because who's going to run the beach? UDC can still say that they will do whatever they want on the beach. So we are struggling again now since the courts decided that it's a public beach to see what we can do. Because, A, they bought the beach in 1976. They didn't do nothing at all on the beach for 25, 6, 30 years. So I, I don't think that they, they have the right to handle the beach. The beach should be handled by the ones which for so long time have been working for free, for free. To yes. keep the beach clean, to wash it off, to remove the plastic and all of that. Mm -hmm. I think that, I think, I know that we are trying to build a sort of trust Yes, and, uh, uh, and this means that we are we have people or association or whatsoever which are supporting what we want, and we want to apply to UDC and tell them and say give us the beach because we have the expertise. And here I have to mention as uh, the as the first supporter, IDFM and Andrea Williams. They have been with us since the beginning of the fight. And every month we have a report, the, the radio is telling about Winifred Beach. And the big, big news is that on December 7, Running Africa is going to be broadcasted live from the beach. That is going to be, um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because I'm on a different radio station, but I think even the listeners to this radio station knows my affiliation with the Running African program. That can, that's not something that we can hide. But, Carlo, I did not realize that the UDC had actually owned that beach since 1976. Yeah. They, they, I, P, that is a mysterious story because they bought it from the trust, because uh, Winifred Beach was donated by a gentleman, Mr. Brown, which died a long, long time, to the people, uh, to the old people, elders, fishermen, and churches in Ferial. Yes. So the beach was a heritage. Now, I don't know exactly how it happened. In 1976, they find out that the trust did not pay all the land tax. So the administrator sold the beach. When we were interviewing some of the trustees, which were most of the elders in the community, they didn't know anything like there was no meeting, no, nobody was voting, yes or no. But the beach was sold, and the price, which is on the land title, is ridiculous because it has been sold with, with uh, such a cheap price because, remember, it's a huge property. Yes. And then UDC was silent about that until 1994. 
Mm-hmm. And in 1994, they were trying to step on the beach. And if you remember, there were some huge riots in the area. And there was sister fire and everybody fighting. So the, the UDC backed up again until seven years ago when they decided that they want to, to build a resort. So we will never really see these large complexes and villas and all of this stuff on Winifred Beach. We well, will not. You cannot s- do it anymore because if it's a public beach, the resort won't be won't be built anymore because it does not make sense because they cannot stop anybody from accessing the beach now. But that was the the the. the the first draft, because if you remember, there was also a public meeting in Port Antonio. Yes, I was there. Yeah. You were there. Oh, yeah. And, and it was quite hot, if you remember, because people... Oh, were yes, I remembered. Yes. And then uh, we had a lot of challenges, by the way, to get the full documentation, because the attorneys which went to get the documents were not very welcomed by UDC, so they had to go back more than once. And um, wasn't the National Environmental Planning Agency involved at some point? No. No, they were uh, Not at all. What I'm trying to do at the moment is to include Winifred Beach in the natural park, which is going to be set and is already in a good shape from uh, in all the Sansan area. Mm-hmm. Because that would protect the reef, that would protect the fishes, that would protect uh, uh, the, the beauty of the beach. And by the way, it is uh, three years now that we got back the turtles. That you got back what? Turtles, sea turtles. Oh, the, oh, the turtles are back. Yeah, but oh. we have to fight like hell because the people trying to, to kill them. I know. People, <laughs> people try to thief the eggs. So we have a, a task force of people which are trying to control it, and nothing like that is happening down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that the Portland Environment and Protection Agency? Are they involved? Uh, sometimes, yes. They have done a little things for us. But mm-hmm. I have to say that the local uh, politicians, I mean, in Portland, MPs and whatsoever, they never moved one finger, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we decided to do it by ourselves. I know that we are little. I know that we are nobody, but we are the ones which want to do the job, so we do it. You know, um, I, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what it is about the local politicians. What is it that they really defend other than trying to get the next vote? Because sometimes some important things come up and they don't seem to be involved. They seem to be so far removed because Winifred Beach, it's not just a beach. It's a cultural, it's something right. that is, it's a cultural place in the parish of Portland. You go away, you come home, Winifred Beach. Your family I come can't... to visit, Winifred Beach. You know, it's like people leave from all over the world, not just here all over the world to go to Winifred Beach. I was, um, when I, I was in, Bo- in Boston, and this friend of mine said to me, she says, boy, Sister Pierre, I'll never forget that beach. It's the most beautiful beach that she has ever been to. And yet still, our local politicians don't get in the fight for it. I think that you are totally right, and I want to make two points. One, as you say, everybody like it. And I have seen tons of tourist visitors which want to go to Winifred because they say, this is Jamaica. Yes. If they go to another beach, yeah, it looks good. But there is no music. There is no liquor stall. There is no Rasta man carving a little song. There is no people dancing. There is no families. There, is, there are no children who is coming to Jamaica and want to know Jamaica, want to go to Winifred. And uh, I have tourists at my guest house, which spend a week. They go one day here, one day there, and the rest of the week, every God Almighty morning, they want to go to Winifred. They want to go to Winifred. I mean, because you come to as, The way as Winifred is, it is, it is a place that we... And I don't understand why people appreciate it so much. And we, in Jamaica, we try to clean up the Jamaican flavor. 
Yeah, you should leave the Jamaican flavor. Jamaica is Jamaica. It is what makes right. us who we are. You know, I don't you understand. You can go somewhere else. I don't want to go to a beach that is just um just tourists laying on that beach. I don't want exactly. to go there. Right. I mean that would not be Jamaica. And anybody who would want that, they can just they can go to a beach in Miami. They can go to a Indeed. beach anywhere else in the world. They don't have to come all the way to Jamaica. So it right. is it is something it, it exposes our culture that is not maybe say urban or rural. It's a different aspect of our culture. Yeah, and plus there is another thing I mean, nobody nobody remembers, but I remember it and I'm sure you do. Behind the beach, there is a rest home, which was a precious thing for yes, a lot of Yes, 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 yes. Agents were sheltered, the homeless were sheltered, people with emergency were sheltered. Yes. When there was a hurricane, people could have a roof. Yes. What happened to that? What happened to it, Carlo? Good question. So you, that is part of what UDC has? Yes. And yeah. that is out of, far away from the beach, so I could not incorporate it because I wanted to have the rest home because I think that is a community important instrument, but it's not near to the beach. I remember so, when the Haitians came here because I went out there to see them. When those boats came in a few years ago from Haiti, they had the people out there. And you know something, I don't like how, how we deal with these Haitians, but that's, not an, that's another whole thing. Because there are so many craft people and artists in, uh, in Haiti. And when these people come, they don't even try to say, well, let us see what we can learn from them. No, no. So we lock, the, we lock them in there like they, they, they were uh, inmates. Yes, yes. And I remember that even they were, some of them were at the Port Antonio police station. And I don't, if I'm not mistaken, they had to sleep on the floor. If I'm not mistaken, yes, this is how we treat our brothers and sisters. I'm sure and they that's came. Why, that's why a place like that should be should be protected and utilized because it is it is something important in in this kind of situation. And that it, uh, it's a ruin now. I don't know what happened to it, but nobody used it since years. I know. Well, like probably going like everything else in Jamaica, like the Port Antonio Hospital, like the Buff Bay Hospital, like everything else, just totally. You know, just totally rotten falling down. apart. Yeah, rotting down. I still can't get over the buff bay. But again, that is another story. I've been following it up, though. But, Carlo, I mean, like, you have been there. I mean, I don't know. You have never given up. I know at times you said, oh, boy, P, I can't go on anymore. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, you're still there. I really have to give it to you. particularly stubborn, P. <laughs> <laughs> I know there have been times when it has been really, really challenging. And you, I, I mean, like you said to me, oh boy, it's like you really can't go on. But you have been there. I know um, one of my friends criticized me for going out to, to demonstrate with you all and said, if I don't say that, no Jamaican people not there, if it's just white people from Sansan. And I said, well, you know, so you're going to sit down at your house and say just white people from San San. So don't you think that you're obligated that you that you owe yourself to be out there? Yes. So well, Carla, you know you can always call on me when in, whenever it comes to anything that has to do with Winifred Beach. I rely on you a lot because you have been supporting what we do uh, with a lot of energies, and we appreciate it. But before we finish this phone call. I would love to remember how many simple people on that beach have been struggling. I am not sure if I can call all their names, but I want to say some of them. Cynthia, yes. first of all, Joy, Chappie, uh, Dimple, Doreen, Ernie, Dongo, Margie, Blackie, and Cola, some more names. Those people, nobody know them, but they have done a whole heap of sacrifice. Yes. To keep the beach going. And I think they should be commended and remembered. And I do commend them all. And I guess I will be there shortly um, to meet them all. But there's another one. There's somebody Thank came into the studio with Cynthia one, of the, one time. But I yes. Don't, who was yes. that? I, don't, I think it was Joy. I'm not sure. But I think no, it was, it, was a, it was a brethren. 
It was a gentleman. Yes. I will investigate, but I don't remember because I don't remember. Yeah, because but, it was uh, years ago. Yes. Uh huh. Mm, yes. You, if you invite them to the radio, you do you do something because it's important also to recognize that somebody which nobody care about cares about you and 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 Portland. Well, as long as they're willing to come, Carla, I am I'm here for them. Whenever they just have to call me, tell me when they want to come. I'm ready for them. Good. Excellent. P, thanks very much. We hope to see you soon on the beach because uh, you are one of our backboards. And uh, if you want to come to have a little celebration on December 7, we are happy to host you there. Okay. Well, you know that I'll be there on that day, Carla. And that means also that we want to host as many Portlanders as possible. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of people don't know that she calls me her mother and I call her big daughter. So... Uh. <laughs> And Sabira is little sister, so it's okay. a family. It's a family thing. So okay. we will have a family reunion on December seven okay. for everybody, and try to not only to celebrate that we have a public beach, but decide that you can give a hand. I'm talking to the people in Portland. Yes, yes. Okay, Carlo, give thanks. Um, really good to know to keep up, and regardless of whatever, I will say that that was a big victory, big big victory. Because it was like what these people say, David and Goliath. David took on Goliath with a stone, so he go with a slingshot and actually won. So we will take it from there. But I consider it a very big victory for the people of Portland and for all of those people that have stayed on Winifred Beach, people like you and the whole crew there that stuck with it and decided to fight. Give thanks for you all and enough respect to you all, Carlo. Thank you, P, and let's keep it up. Yes. Love. All right. When people believe that they have the power, what can be done? Because for years, it has taken seven years for the court to rule in favor of the people over the mighty, mighty UDC, which is supposed to be the Urban Development, Urban Development Corporation, but this is rural. Oh, they reach into rural and it named Urban Development. But as we, as we call it, we call it the Underdevelopment agency. Presently, you are listening to the spiritual vibrations with your host, Sister B. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM to the world, world! It's the first ever video party in Portland. You can't afford to miss this one. Come experience the video sound. Video will be played. Music after music. The big screen will be there. Jump, jump to classic climax. The video sound. Big people thing. It's this Saturday, November 29. Border 20 Crafts Market. Come jump to the sounds of DJ Snow. It's the party first ever in portland don't you miss this one come experience a video jam session it's at the craft market right here inside of port antonio this saturday november 29 admission 300 dollars it's a bigger young production need a lifestyle change tired of the same old same old sister peace restaurant in hope bay is a healthy alternative 
vegetarian dishes, natural juices, puddings, shakes, and much more. Open Monday to Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Look out for the pretty, pretty building just outside of Hope Bay. Telephone number 5320723. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. It's coming again. Robinson and Sons Hardware is having their pre-Christmas clearance sale. Ten percent to twenty-five percent off on special items, commencing October sixth until we say when. Take advantage of this chance to get your hardware items at discount prices. Robinson and Sons Hardware, the place to shop for the holiday season. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with Sister P. Presently, you are listening to the Spiritual Vibrations with your host, Sister P. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM to the world, world! Yeah, I'd just like to give a shout out to Lusta who is listening somewhere out there area code 917 also jerome in saint mary and of course peter mckenzie and taria i hope i did acknowledge you from earlier this morning um grace just to let you know grace you said that you wish they would clean up the folly beach and i need to correct you who to clean up the folly beach because see what happens these people have been fighting fighting for winifred beach for seven years, it has been in the courts. And Folly Beach is being used by the people who do the jerk festival. So if anything, I would imagine that those people should be the ones to clean it up, the people who are using it. But it's not being used like how Winifred Beach, where Winifred Beach is a regular beach where people go there every day. I don't know. I mean, what, I don't know how many people go to Folly Beach. But whoever goes to Folly Beach, that is the responsibility on them. But I've never left my house to go to Folly Beach. You ever left your house and go to Folly Beach? I don't even know what is over there. Yes. Um, so, you know, the, the place is, these people have fought long and hard. As I said, seven years in the courthouse. I've been to demonstrations. I've been to meetings, you know, to get this thing where we have a public beach.
spiritual vibration with Sister P. Physical dance with Garbage. He broke one scan on the goalie bank. He said he broke two scan on the river bank. He said he broke three scan in a bower bank. He said he mm, Lord of mercy. But I play them sounds called a love and a wee now, you know? Unity is the foundation of our community. Let's 
wanna call the love in an arena. Baby, come a damn book, give me love in an arena. Official data, you know. Officially.
to spiritual vibration. Styles FM 96.1 with Sister P. It's tiley. It's fiery. Jennifer Barrett said that. Cliffhanger Restaurant and Lounge presents Off the Cliff starting Friday, November 28th at 11 p.m. with live performance by Raging Fire. Admission, ladies, 500 gents a grand with complimentary finger food and rum punch. Available entries, curry goats, country fried chicken, and fish. For more info, call 860-1395 or 869-5931. Off the Cliff, every last Friday at Cliffhanger Restaurant and Lounge. Located at Ross Craig Long Bay, Portland. I and I no run competition. I man father send I on a mission. This is Eva G, and you're listening to Styles FM, the world station. Check out my albums, World Peace, Independence, Mission, and Jalov on iTunes and Amazon. Blessed love. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube, Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at StylesFM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. So, Bossy, what's your problem? Boy, me not a problem, you know. <laughs> Boy, you see what me tell you if you up on Pan Styles 2014 calendar, you make him miss you. Make sure you no make the 2015 one miss you again, you know, Bossy. You know, see how last year them hype up the sponsors them with interviews and non-stop big ups in a December. Next year I come soon, you know. And me and Styles are up the thing. Call them, no man. Because spots limited. 876-439-5160. 876-439-5160. Our email, info at stylesfm.com for more information. Do it no bossy. You know what? I am going to call them right now. to acknowledge the following people. Good morning, Rosie. And Rosie's in New York. Grace Bo is in Georgia. And Hal Anthony and the Millennium Band is sending a shout out to his son, OJ, and his wife, Amorel, both of whom are in Kingston. Well, you know, this is the time that I should be interviewing Hecoin, but I'm not getting through to them. So we're going to move on with the Bayview Eco Resort and Spa, the question of the week for our weekend stay. What is it for two people to stay for the weekend at Bayview Eco Resort and Spa? What do you say, Cassidy? Is one? One person? Okay, well, when they call you, at least you will get to find a boy. I sure could go lay down in a spa right now. And I can't even qualify for this. But maybe it was me pushing the thing, then, then should I give me something? What do you think? Don't you think I should I get something too? Why me go every week, me telling people, and people going to get big time treatment in a spa, and me best me can do is go take a shower in my bathroom. No, sir. 
Something have to fix about that. Now remember, it is open to everybody, whether you're in Jamaica or you're outside of Jamaica, no matter where in the world, there is one stipulation. You cannot text in. You must call in. Texts are not accepted. So, I yeah, said, so you better set up the um, international line there with the speaker and stuff. You hear in Cassidy? Set up that because you know that there are some people who. Uh, oh, it's ready? Okay. This week's question In what year was the name change made to the Port Antonio Marina to call it the Errol Flynn Marina? In what year? Every week, Cassidy wishing didn't know the answer to the things that mama asked. Uh, you kind of know that? You kind of know that one? Okay. All right. But Cassidy, how would I going to deprive people like me and you of being at the spa? That's right. We need to be able to go there and tell people. So the numbers to call are 453 1444. The, the number for the USA and Canada is, where is that number now? 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973 for persons in the USA and Canada on that special line for them. Okay, we have our first call coming in now, Cassidy. Oops, Mr. Wagwan. Good morning, listener. Good morning, Sister P. Can I send a birthday greeting to my No, we're not today. taking can birthday I? greetings right now. We're in the middle of people having to answer the question that I've been asking for Bayview okay. Eco Resort and Villas. So later down? Later down. Or in Mookie's okay. program, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Sister P. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, still waiting for an answer. In what year was the name changed? The Port Antonio Marina, the name was changed to the Errol Flynn Marina. In what year? And to answer correctly, for a weekend at Bayview Eco Resort and Spa. Phone lines quiet. Everything quiet. Maybe them people and them too much um, turkey business today, you know. Numbers to call 453-1444. If you're outside of Jamaica, the area code is 876-876-453-1444. USA and Canada, 954-338. Here comes a call. Okay. Good morning, listener. Good morning. The answer to the question is 2003. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. All right. Uh huh. Okay, so come on. We can't cast the can, no matter, we can't answer the question, but we can't even get through, you know. We can't go lay down in a spa and get a nice massage. And then put all on it and put all mud and them something over here. But we can't get that. Numbers to call 4531444. Good morning, listener. Good morning, sister, please. Good morning. Good morning. I believe I have the answer. Well, I hope you have the answer so I don't have to keep going over this. What is the answer? I would say 2009. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. Where are you calling from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. From, is this Nikki? No, no, this is a man. Come on, Andy. No, I thought, no, I thought it was Nikki's tailoring. I am in a man business. Nikki? All right. 
Okay, um, Cassidy is going to take your information off air. Thank you. Okay, uh huh. Cassidy, get the information there for me, please. Remember the telephone number. When are you coming to Jamaica? Is it possible that a family member could use the um, weekend or does it have to be late? I don't know. That, that would be up to the hotel. That wouldn't be up to me. That would have to be up to the hotel. I couldn't answer that question for you. Okay? All right, Th yeah, thanks for calling. Cassidy is right, standing right by to take the information. This one that just called, um, sorry about that, you got disconnected. Could you please call back to give Cassidy the information? Yes, we're not getting through to he coin, but I tell you, I always work with a bag, you know. And yes, in that bag, I have all kinds of information. So that when I get posted, I don't have to worry. I just go in that little bag there, you see, and find all kind of things inside there. Now, I'm going to be telling you about this from this book. It's called Jamaica's Gifts to the World because there are Jamaicans all over the world that are making some invaluable contributions, but we never hear them. We don't hear about these people. So I'm going to tell you about some of them this morning. There is a George Stevel. He came from humble beginnings. His mother was a housekeeper and his father was a Jew from Hamburg in Germany. His father was involved in gun running in the Caribbean, especially in Cuba, which in the 1840s was still a slave colony. His father... One of his ships sank off the coast of Venezuela, but he, well, he was able to swim ashore. 
He became very downhearted and depressed when he realized that he had lost everything, but he didn't give up. He bought goods and became a peddler, and he was immen immensely successful, especially in buying gold and transporting it to Venezuela. Over the years, he gained an insight into the mining of gold, and when he heard that the Venezuelan government was interested in leasing an old mine, George persuaded some friends to become his partners, and he put all his capital into this venture. When some of his partners lost heart, he bought them out and preserved with determination. He later found gold. This is George Stevel a Jamaican whose mother was a housekeeper and his father a Jew from Hamburg. When some of his partners lost heart, yes, he bought them out, but he later found gold. Very good lesson. The man was valued at the time at 16 million US and he owned one-fourth of it. When he came back to Jamaica, he came back to Jamaica a wealthy man. Yes, he later bought Devon Penn and built Devon House. And Devon House became the envy of the rich and famous in Jamaica. However, Lady Musgrave, who was the wife of the then Governor General, was so, I don't want to use the right word, the word I'm really want to use, the way she begs, she refused to pass by Devon House because it was owned by a black man and it was grander than the house that she was living in, which was King's house. As a result, her husband built Lady Musgrave Road in order to bypass Devon House. You know, we never know the story then. So that the man, her husband, actually built Lady Musgrave Road. That she, you didn't know that yesterday? That she never passed past Hope Road to see this Devon House which was owned by a black man. So her husband built Lady Musgrave Road so that she never have to pass that. Why them people is something else? So these are some some Jamaicans who have done extremely well for themselves. Then we have a lady named Anita Witter. And she received the British Female Inventor and Innovative Network Award in the Exceptionally Creative category for her development of Jewel Isle Rum Punch. She heard about this um, award and she was asked to enter, but she didn't think that she could so the competition just was not for her. She said, for her, it is a great achievement because the competition was very stiff. Anyway, Jewel Isle Rum Punch was officially launched in 2005. And it featured three flavors, tropical pineapple, ginger, and lemon lime. Lemon lime. So this is another successful Jamaican who has made her name overseas. You have Jamaicans all over, you know. Then, of course, we don't want to. We have to talk about Lowell Hawthorne, a highly successful Jamaican, born entrepreneur. And he has piloted Golden Crust Caribbean Bakery and Grill from a small New York bakery 
to become one of the leading ready-to-eat Caribbean food franchises in the U.S. with more than 100 stores nationwide. You knew about him, Cassidy? What? Golden Crust Patty, a big, big something up, so you know. A 100 store this man have, you know. Him named Lowell Horton. Golden Crust made his name selling traditional Jamaican specialties such as patties, buns, and turnovers. And now offers reggae fest meals such as jerk chicken and fish. In 1995, Forbes magazine featured Golden Crust as one of the fastest growing minority owned business in the US. And in 2002, Hawthorne was named Entrepreneur of the Year for the tri state era by the accounting firm Ernst and Young. Hawthorne made his first patty at age 11 at Hawthorne and Sons Bakery, the family's business in Lawrence Tavern, St. Andrews. So that is where he's from, Lawrence Tavern. So he developed his entrepreneurial spirit as a child. He was, as a child, he was rearing and selling pigs and chicken. Later on, he did a stint driving a minibus between Lawrence Tavern and Halfway Tree. You see where this man coming from? In the early 1980s, he left his, the bus job to move with his parents and eventually his 11 siblings to the U.S. Their father Ephraim opened the first Golden Crust in 1989 on Gun Hill Road in the Bronx with the hope of bringing the traditional Jamaican food to their fellow migrants. At first, Hawthorne and his siblings busied themselves with school and sought traditional jobs. He chose accounting since he was always good with figures. However, a few years later, he just gave up and left his accountant job to enter the family business full time. And under his leadership, Gun Hill Road has become the flagship store of a network of more than 100 franchises across the United States. In 2004, the company struck its first major endorsement contract, signing New York Jets star Tiki Barber, Hawthorne, okay, first, oh, they made an, end, oh, they got a big endorsement. Hawthorne is the first to admit that the key to success is keeping the company's roots firmly planted in the Caribbean community. And we have to say that seriously is a success story. Someone coming from humble, humble beginnings. Then we have, we have them all over the place. We have Ainsley Harriot. He's a celebrity chef in the United Kingdom with several popular television shows. Good Morning with Anna Nick, Can't Cook, Won't Cook, and later Ready, Steady, He's also an author with best-selling cookbooks and has his own line of food, including couscous, soups, and cereal bars. You know, this is, this is very interesting because all the time I said to myself, how come Jamaicans can be so successful all over the world and we can't get it together here? What is it? In 1952, his father left Jamaica to take up a scholarship to the Royal School of Music, which was unheard of for a black man in those days. And his father became a famous pianist in his own right.
making appearances on the very popular, at the time, Bob Monkhouse show, and also as a guest on the Ed Sullivan show in the United States. Um, Andre Harriet was trained at the Westminster College of Catering. And he did his apprenticeship at the Versus restaurant. But it is... He was also part of the genealogy documentary series with Who Do You Think You Are? to find out more about his family history. And he was able to, to trace his family connection to the island of Jamaica back by five generations. That's very, again, interesting. Jamaicans making their name abroad. There are so many of them. Just telling you about some of them this week. This is about Marcia Brown. She worked for companies like Johnson & Johnson before Nabisco and Coca-Cola for 16 years. And today, she's a marketing executive. She is CEO of her own Atlanta-based marketing firm, The Monarch Group. And the list goes on. There is also a Jamaica, the Jamaican parents of Chris John immigrated to England in 1960. His father was a retired motor mechanic. He showed brilliance at a young age. He went on to study at Harvard University where he was in the top 5% of his MBA class. Upon graduation from the Harvard Business School, he began his career in finance on Wall Street. Then in 2003, he went out on his own and set up the Children Investment Fund Foundation. Today, his hedge fund is one of the most successful in Europe. In four years, up to 2008, his fund has given away almost 800 million pounds pounds not jamaican dollars pounds making chris john chris it's not john it's chris horn britain's largest giver in fact in 2008 he gave away over 500 million pounds in donation which makes it the largest single donation ever made in the united kingdom Today, Christopher Horn is in the top three of the high earners in the top 10 city earners in London. His name is Christopher Horn, last name H-O-H-N. He's a philanthropist. Boy, I should have meet that man. Mm -mm. We need to know people like that. Definitely need to know people like that. Yes, Cassidy. Um, you can do my little music and just take me into the midday meditation there while well, I sort it out.
The inspirational moment on Styles FM. If you tend to get overly serious about your work or your responsibilities, remind yourself that the most common deathbed regrets relate to neglected relationships, not unfinished business. That was the inspirational moment on Styles FM. Presently, you are listening to the spiritual vibrations with your host, Sister B. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM to the world. World! Robinson and Sons Hardware is having their pre-Christmas clearance sale. 10% to 25% off on special items. Commencing October 6th until we say when. Take advantage of this chance to get your hardware items at discount prices. Robinson and Sons Hardware, the place to shop for the holiday season. I'm on black, me brown, me white. See Babylon stripe, you Metamorphosis. Entertainment. Coming to you from Styles FM, from the parish of Portland, in Northeast Jamaica, featuring your host, Dr. Iman Black. Tune in every Friday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Come, listen, learn, engage Dr. Iman Black. Article reasoning, article teaching. Come, be edutained. Metamorphosis. Hey, this is me, Brother Gary. I tell you, say, if you want to advertise anything you have, if you are sell anything, truck, car, bus, anything you're keeping, make sure you advertise the past times of them. Call this number 439-5160. 439-5160. And I guarantee you, everybody. I got in your business. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with Sister P. Yes, today's featured artist, Taurus Riley. Please tell me something feels so strange, baby. You know that you say your phone and you don't call me. Something feels so wrong. So far, recently I've been thinking If I'm not mistaken, I heard you call Another man's name while sleeping Words going around Say you know what me again You tell your friends any day now Our relationship will end Thank you. 
Peter McKenzie, New York, says he buys his. What to buy, dear Peter? I'm just put back this. We buy him Buller, a golden cross. 